Uh, before you start saying what you have to say, I have to ask you some couple of questions. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, before you start saying what you have, yes, I want to ask you some couple of questions. One question is this Are you the real part of those Odudua that are fighting for Biafran, uh, for Odudua nation to come? Are you part of those that organizing or are the Yoruba Odudua are coming to Belgium? Are they coming to Belgium with the, the Biafrans, the Abazonians? Because according to what we heard, Simon Epa said, I want to call his name. He said that the, the real Odudua people that he knows that they are not going to participate in, in this, uh, uh, one million march that they have been spoken to i mean he have been talking to you people he have spoke with you people and you people have told him that uh, you people are not among those that are going to march in one million march that any old doer that we see that are, that are going to be in belgium that they are not the real agitators of the uh, the yoruba old doer now my question to you is this are you not part of the real Yoruba agitator? I don't know, but because I want you now to answer it. He said, you people are not part of it. So the first question is this. Are you part of, is Yoruba Odudua part to of answer it? He said, you people are not part of it. Okay. Um, I think you will take your mic away, take your earphone away, and then answer the question. He said, you people are not part of it. Okay, okay. Okay, um, look, it's like this. I'm not going to, I don't, I'm not going to answer questions directly in that sense. All I will say is that I have been in this struggle for quite a good number of years. I speak to quite a few number of people who are involved in this struggle. We are all for what is right. What is right is for us to, to, to work together as Middle Bethans, as Biafrans, as Cam um, Amazonians, as, as Odudua people to go for a struggle. If that means that we go for a protest that is not violent, no peaceful rally, a minimum man, man, match, man, man match, I don't see anything wrong in that. Um, as regards any comments about whether or not we're not real, we leave that to those who want to decide that to decide. For me, if you are not in this struggle, uh, to, to achieve a common goal for us, then I don't know what to say to you. We are in this. Uh, uh, this for me is a we. That, those kind of comments for me, it doesn't really help our struggle. When we say some, you know, we need to be. I, I said it before. Our unity in going forward is what is important. And every time we the, the, we divide ourselves with statements like this, um, you know, this is someone that I know. Uh, it's a shame because we are given room for the full and needs to do to divide us so I, I i will only say for me this is something the million man match is real it's happening in uh, eu um there are no motives behind it other than for us to raise awareness and it's only to raise awareness like i said in the end i've said before the only people that will free us is ourselves but we are making the world aware by doing this peaceful rally in 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 in, uh, in brussels on the 14th and 15th of may and hopefully hopefully i'll be there but we have a june 12th that we're doing in the uk and we are organizing that as we speak um in trafalgar square so june 12th is something we're going to be part of depending on how i am after that because when it's a big thing when you're going to go in there and spend the whole day you organize and we have meetings that does take some time so i don't know if i'm going to be well enough well recovered enough to go on that trip i would love to go and i'm still i mean I, in fact yesterday i checked my documents and realized okay fantastic i have i can go so you know that's fine um but please one of the things that we should really stop ourselves from doing is when we are openly separating ourselves for the fool that needs to step in ah, i don't know what to say because we are openly separating ourselves by doing this we are what we need to create to, to do is to make sure that, that that what we present to these guys is that in everywhere in, in the four corners of the world 
when they hear that anything is happening, the Yorubas are there, the Igbo are there, the Bafas are there, uh, they are the, 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 all there. There's no room for them to step in. Now we are creating a gap because somebody, the, the full line people watching, they go, oh, yes, we can go and speak to that one. Yeah, that one is, you know, and they will, for me, I am for this. I'm part of the struggle. And I've mentioned it to people and we all want, and we will be promoting it on the platforms as well. I don't see anything wrong in doing that. There is nothing on their hand. I don't get involved in anything on their hand. What we are here for is to promote our, our, our um, the platform for our independence as Biafrans, as Oguduas, as Middle Belt. So anything else, count us out. We are there for that. Please turn up in your numbers as Ambazonians, as Oguduas, as Biafrans. Turn up and let's, let's not... What harm we will raise in our voices to go for self-determination in front of the EU? The EU are central to all of this. The EU was what created the... Uh, you see, let me tell you guys something. I want to get to you guys know something. What you call the Berlin Conference is the foundation for what is now the EU. Let me tell you guys something. I want to get to you guys know something. 1884 Berlin Conference, yeah, is the foundation for this EU that you have now. So we are very, very right in raising our concerns in front of them. We're not saying that they have to do anything for us. We're letting them know that we are coming and we're taking our stuff and nothing can stop it. So I don't see anything wrong in doing that. Uh, I hope that answers your question. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, my brother, Citizen AY. I hope the great people of Biafra have heard that the Yoruba Odudua, they are 1,001% involved they are involved so some of you that are going out there listening to gossip believing that they are telling you the truth we have now have a one of the biggest comrade of o yoruba odudua i mean one of the hardcore of odudua preaching the gospel of odudua telling his own people that the yoruba must be free odudua must be free as we are also preaching that Biafra must be free. And some Ab I mean, Abazonians are also preaching for Abazonia to be free. We bring a something that is, is a welcome development. And somebody somewhere sitting inside his room see a welcome development that even though our leader Mazen Namde cannot put in place before, but because of COVID-19, he failed. And now, we be able to gather ourselves, the Abazonians, the Yorubas, to put head together to make it happen. And somebody is sitting somewhere telling you that it's lie, that the Abazonians are not involved, that Yorubas are not involved. Now we have bring one of the Yoruba Odudua, and he's telling us now that one thousand and one hundred percent that they are involved, and he's telling us that he will keep on preaching this gospel to his platform. Keep on creating the awareness telling their people and he's telling us that he has also a protest to organize for june 12th and he will be loved to be there i don't know which yoruba these people that are saying enter my room enter my room enter my bedroom can somebody just tell me you see a welcome development and you are preaching to the people that are looking for their freedom that they shouldn't go that the yorubas are not coming now we have bring one of them one of them is here with us and this man called a white citizen have been with this stupid idiot known entity in finland they have have a uh, i mean a uh, 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 program together when they were thinking that this guy was with them that is why we are telling them that you see those that guy he's not fighting for biafra we are telling people he's not fighting for biafra he's just fighting for his pocket that is why we are uh, when i just started i said should be in case if you don't know because i don't know how uh yoruba agitators operate but i know that you are among of those that i mean fighting for uh, yoruba nation uh what is his name uh yomi is also there we know about mayegu he's there and all these people i have spoken to i mean to you and the yomi they told me the yoruba are involved in this protest but somebody somewhere was telling our people that yoruba are not involved we want to know which are you i, I don't i don't i can't i can't understand that is why we tell you people some of you 
I know that you don't want to double into issue that you don't know. But I want you people to know, like the word as I'm speaking to you now, to know that only leadership we have is DOS. I'm telling you honestly speaking, only leadership we know is DOS. Of course, some people may come to you or they have already came to you, begin to tell you that they have what it takes to bring Biafra for us. They are just liars. They are just saying what they don't know. They don't believe on the leadership that our leader Mazen Nandekani himself put in place. They always come every day to castigate the leadership. Do you know that these people, the same people, they were calling the Abazonians? Going to Abazonia from backyard, telling them that they are the real IPOB. But because of we have already created that alliance with uh, Abazonians, they have met our leader. They know the leadership that our leader put in place. Now they, this Abazonia, they have to go to the leadership and ask them, this thing that these people are saying, is it true? I brought one of them, the second in command of Abazonia. The man was shocked. And the man said it open and open and plain. Capo Daniel. He said they are coming behind to tell them that they are the real IPOB. So now you have to tell us that Yoruba are involved. So now, what advice do you have to give the people of Biafra? Because for Yoruba Odudua, they don't listen to this gossip. You people are already organized yourself that you people are coming there. Now, I want you to address people of Biafra. Let them know that you people are involved. 20,000 and what involved. Just let them know that you people are involved. That you people are not uh, what they said that you people are. Because they are telling us that because I have saw you with this guy in one pro, uh, program probably i was think i'm thinking that you are also involved by saying that you are not part of them maybe it's including you too i don't know so i want you to explain to us please um like i said for me um i will work with anybody who is interested in our independence? Who is interested in our collective independence? I will work with them. What I will not do is to be in a situation whereby um, somebody has got, they, they say something different from our collective benefit. And for me, I don't see how going for this protest will be something that will not benefit us. I don't see it. Because we are going on the people rally. This is not the first time I've done stuff with we've done rallies with iPod. In UK here, I was we went, we went myself and one of the, the high top people in uh, iPod in the UK here. We've done several rallies together. So it's not new to me to do this. I I, I am I'm sorry that those some people may want to cause divisions by by whatever for whatever reason. I'm not prepared to do that. I don't you see the energy that we have here. We need to conserve that energy and focus on where we are going. If we listen to the, there's something we call Ari Woja in Yoruba language. Ari Woja. So the market noise. I don't think we need to listen to the market noise. It is what we want to go and get in the market that we need to focus on. What do we want in the market? Uh, what we want is our independence. Let us focus on that. So let me, you cannot stop others from talking, but our people, what I will say to you, if your independence matters to you, come out on the day. Come out. Be it Yoruba, be it Ambazonian, be it IPOB. Come down. Lend your voice. Remember, I said, the EU is the great grandson of the Berlin Conference 1884, where they are still controlling Africa to date. So why don't you go out and make your voice known? Let them know, we know what is going on, we are going, but we are letting you know. That is what we are doing. Because ultimately, it depends what we, the steps we take to free ourselves is with ourselves. The emancipation of ourselves by ourselves. Nobody else will be for us. They won't give it to us. We have to free ourselves. So that's the focus of, we need to understand that. So this, whatever else, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm not the one to... I, I, if you're, I'm sure you understand me. I don't. I just really think we need to focus. I, I want to focus on that goal. 14th and 15th at the EU, Yorubas, Odudua will be there. Biafrans will be there. Ambazonians will be there. Come out. 
let's make it a, a, a great day. Those of you Odudua, who are in Brussels, come out en masse. If you are able to come from other, other parts of Europe as well, come out. Let's do it. This is our future. The coming generation are waiting for us. Are we are we going to let the coming generation live in a nation where they are oppressed, they are slaves in their own land? Our women are going to because of the oppression. They are in Saudi Arabia. Somebody was shitting in the in the mouth of an oh man. Please let's focus on where we're going on i'll stop there thank you very much i hope that answers the question thank you uh thank you very much thank you very much